Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the SO3 2 minus ion, which is the sulfite ion. So here we go. SO3 2 minus. Okay, and so that's the chemical formula, and that's going to give us uh, 6 valence from the sulfur plus 3 oxygens, each giving us 6 valence electrons plus the 2 more electrons for the charge. So that's going to give us a total of 26 valence electrons, okay? And we can go ahead and uh, do my trick where you subtract the um, largest multiple of 8 out of this, 26 total, so it's 24. That gives you 2 remaining, and to divide that by 2 gives you 1, and 24 is 8 times 3. So that means that this is going to be an AX3, because of this 3 here, E1 because of this one here. So this tells you how many uh, peripheral atoms are, are going to be attached and this tells you how many non-bonding electron pairs are going to be on the central atom. Okay? So, this is, we can go ahead and start, start to draw this, uh, this structure now. We've got um, S and then three oxygens. Alright, we can go ahead and connect them with single bonds and fill out each of the oxygens full octet. That gives us 24, and then we can throw on this extra pair here for the 26. Okay, so at first this might seem right, and if you want, you can calculate the formal charges. If once you do that, you'll realize that this adds up, but it's not really the best uh, setup for this compound because the uh, sulfur is going to give you a uh, plus one charge, and that's so it's just not something that, that that you want on sulfur. So just so I don't have to waste your time with that, what you have to do is we're going to move one, just one of these electron pairs and make this a double bond. Now we can calculate the formal charge and let's just see what this looks like. So the formal charge on the sulfur is going to be, oh, before I forget, I'm going to put in the braces because it's an ion and put the charge on the top. Okay, so the, the formal charge on sulfur is going to be six valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds minus two non-bonding electrons gives us a formal charge of zero. All right, formal charge on uh, oxygen one. Let's call this one right here, oxygen one, okay? So that's gonna be six valence brought in, minus two bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons. That's a formal charge of zero as well. All right, and now we can do the formal charges on oxygen two and three, which are just gonna be these other two um, oxygens that have single bonds. And that's going to be cis valence minus uh, one bond for each minus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six non bonding, which is a negative one for each of those. So now the formal charge is going to add up to minus two, total formal charge. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize y'all couldn't see those, those calculations there. Sorry about that. Uh, formal charge is the total formal charge is going to be equal to um, minus two, because there's, there's two of these. These are the oxygen 2 and 3, these ones right here, okay? So 0, 0, and then minus 1, minus 1 gives you a formal charge of minus 2 overall, which is what matches up to the minus 2 charge on the ion, okay? So this structure is correct. Now, this is where the uh, resonance structure is going to come in because um, who's to say that we had to cho choose this specific oxygen to create the double bond? We could have done it with this one or this one. So that's when you're going to have to draw in your three resonance structures because there's three different possibilities as to which oxygens you choose to um, create the double bond with as opposed to having a single bond like like the other ones okay so that's why you're gonna have the resonance structures here so we gotta draw just one more as Okay, so there's our three resonance structures. Okay, one, two, three. And now we can go ahead and look at the um, part of the shape, polarity, stuff like that. Okay, so we have this is an AX3E1. Okay, and with that, with those, that, uh, that specs, the AX3E1, that's going to be a uh, trigonal pyramidal shape. Okay, so the shape is going to be trigonal. Pyramidal 
and the uh, bond angle is going to be approximately 107 degrees. Okay, so th and that's just based on the um, oh, forgot these lone pairs here. Okay, so that's based on one, two, three bonding atoms, and then one lone pair. All right, and uh, now we can talk about let's see the hybridization. Sulfur in the center has one, two, three, four bonding sites. So that's going to be an sp3 hybridized um, molecule, all right? And then this is going to be polar because of this lone electron pair up top here. And because none of these outer atoms can cancel out the electric charge that's given from that lone electron pair. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry for the confusion earlier without being able to see. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. If you have any special requests, let me know. I'll try to get them in a video for you. And uh, thanks for watching.